Welcome to the Slide Gains Tech Simplified channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to become a Microsoft Certified um, Professional, what is the roadmap, where do you start, and what are the different areas that you can actually dive into like Azure, Microsoft 365, Dynamics, and Power Platform. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment and share this video um, with your friends. So let's go and let's keep watching this video to the end. Every certification has, at the bottom of the page, the exam poster. And when you click on the exam poster link, it brings you to the Microsoft Certification Roadmap. And this is your guide that will help you see all the different opportunities for Microsoft. And the cool thing about it is it's updated frequently, as you've seen the last time updated, February 2021. Um, so you don't have to worry, will it be updated or won't? Microsoft does a great job at doing that. There are some exams that you won't find on here, but prim your primary exams are here. And eventually after they go from beta to becoming um, you know, full-time certifications, do, the other certifications um, do make their way to this poster as well. So... How do you use this um, tool, right? So if you look at the top, you can see here is no matter your level of experience, you can advance your career with these certifications, right? Um, so, and you can also take a look at the legend or the key. Um, you see the star, that means expert certification. You see a lock symbol, that means certification has prerequisites. And if you see like a plus sign, that's the exam requirements to achieve um, that next level. So now that we understand that, I'm gonna take it a step back to people who getting started into the Microsoft Arena or just brand new into IT, where would do I recommend you start? Well, I recommend you start with the fundamentals. But first, before you even start with the fundamentals, you got to define what area do you want to learn? You might say, Sylvester, well, I'm brand new. I don't know where I want to start. So what I would recommend is one thing I started noticing is the Azure platform is the backbone of all the other applications that Microsoft leverages there. So it's always a good, in my opinion, to start off with Azure. I always see more job postings for Azure, at least in the U.S. Um, so if you start off with Azure, you can't go wrong. So my career, I ended up starting off with Microsoft 365 just because I took on a specialist role that focused on Microsoft 365, so I started there and then added on Azure to that. So you might be in a similar environment if your role is Dynamics 365, start off with Dynamics, Power Platform, start off there. But in, if you're brand new to the field and you're not quite sure where to start, I will say start off with the Azure certifications. So, and then I will go straight to the fundamentals if you don't have any knowledge of cloud computing and what that is, the fundamental um, certification is exactly what they mean. It's the foundation of your knowledge set where you should start on. Do you have to start with a fundament fundamentals if you already have that knowledge? No, you can proceed straight to an admin certification. For when I started, I actually did start with a fundamental certification, right? So I started taking the Microsoft 365 um, MS 900 certification for my role. Um, so that gave me the bare understanding of what is Microsoft 365, what is the solution and the problem that it's solving, and how does Microsoft solve those problems. I was able to, you know, understand that it wasn't any type of deployment information. It was just understanding the, term, term, the terminology and being able to answer questions related to that terminology. And then for you guys, you might want to start with the AZ900. Um, the AZ900 is the Azure Fundamentals. So this is going to give you a little bit more broader um, certification in the MS900 because it's the entire platform of Azure. And again, it's not an admin. It's not a hands-on cert. It's more of um, just you know, understand the key concepts and be able to answer those, answer those questions like, what is cloud computing? What is Microsoft Azure? What is Microsoft Storage, right? Um, so if you need to answer those questions and just want to know if you know the right answer or not. So it's a very high level organization. Another certification that I took that was pretty beneficial is the Azure AI Fundamental Certification. And this one is a really good cert if you're trying to get the bare bones of um, inform I mean, artificial intelligence. Um, and it was a really good certification, especially for someone who does didn't have any background in artificial intelligence. It gave me the foundational knowledge 
to at least understand conceptually what I'm doing it, um, how does Azure solve the problem, and it's a good way just to understand the concept to see if I want to go deeper into it. And if you happen to be in Dynamics, I actually did take that certification as well too, the fundamentals. It's a great high-level overview of the Dynamics platform. As you know, Dynamics is a huge solution with multiple solutions in one. So this is just a good introduction in there. But that's where I started. And Power Platform, I haven't taken that one yet, but you get the same concept, right? And once you figure that out, you also might want to figure out exactly what type of role are you going for? Like for me, I was doing more of a pre-sales role, so I went for the administrator roles, and I also went for the security roles, because my role in particular that I was doing was focused on Microsoft security. So that's 365 security, so I took the MS500 and the AZ500 as our security, and that's, um, again, those are the two areas that I needed to understand for my job to be, function to be um, just astute in that area. Um, so if you're getting started, what would I recommend? Again, I start with the Azure platform because that's the bare bones if you know where to get started. So I would start off with the 104 certification because that's going to help you if you're an admin understand the platform, where things are, how to use it, how do you configure networking, how do you configure um, computing and other features in there as well that give you a high level overview. But also, if you are a developer, you might want to start with a developer certification, right? You don't have to do the Azure certification. And if you don't know what a developer is, that's someone who's building applications and coding applications on the Azure platform. And an administrator is more, administrator is more a person who's configuring the different features in Azure to, after that um, code or application has been developed, you can use it that way, right? Think of someone who is um, just using the tool and turning on the different widgets and installing as the admin and then the developer is the person building the application that goes on the Azure platform. And then from there, you have other certifications depending on the skill set that you want to develop. So you can go straight in from the 104 and take the 304, right? Or, you know, that's another area that you can do, right? So you can become an expert on that. Take the 303 and the 304. That will get you the expert certifications. So you need those three exams. You need the 104, the 303, and the 304, and then you'll become an expert. If you take the 104, you become a, a admin. And then when you take the 303 and the 304, you become an expert, right? So the same thing happens when you're looking at... Um, the other certifications on there, right? You can you can take. So one thing that I'm going to do and to build my skills this year is I'm going to take the Microsoft 365 um, 100 and 101 so I can become an expert in the Modern Workplace 365. In addition to that, I'm going to take the Teams um, Administrator certification, the MS 700, to understand the how to admin and administer um, Teams in a corporate environment. I want to understand that. The next thing I may take is the developer associate. That's another area you can do, right? And there's so many different features and functionality that you can leverage um, in those certifications to help build your knowledge. But the great thing of it is as you learn more, those open new opportunities for you. Now let's take a look at Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. They follow kind of the same philosophy, right? You're going to see again um, the different areas you can do like sales consultant, marketing consultant, right? Service um, functional, I mean functional consultant, supply chain, so on and so forth. So there's different levels of certifications you can get within each of these um, pillars underneath these four different areas, right? So again, if you want to become an expert, you got the Dynamics 365 plus Power I mean Power Platform Solution Expert, the MB 600, right? You can also, you know, get a little bit more in depth in the finance, taking the 300 and the 500. If you go over the Power Platform, it's not as many certifications, but again, they have those same um, type of levels, right? You got a Power Platform for app maker associate the 100 level then you got the developer certification right then you also got a data an i mean analyst associate right so again there's a couple of different ones in here that each one of these certifications i can do a video on like i've been doing as i pass the certain certifications and my tack is on taking them um, i just want to give you a high level overview of what you can do 
right? And something that you might get confused at, right? It, it, help, it did happen to me when I was taking the Microsoft 365 certification. The MS500 Security Administrator certification is an overview certification, whereas the 100 and the 101 certification are granular certifications focusing on particular areas. So in actuality, the 100 and the 101 are actually harder, in my personal opinion, than the MS500. So don't let the name fool you. So sometimes the rhyme and reason, uh, Microsoft, you know, is does a good job at doing it, but you know, with the Microsoft 500, that one kind of threw it for a loop, right? The 500, in my personal opinion, is a little bit easier as an overview cert, where the 100 and 101 are more detailed certifications. And another area that you can do is specialty certifications for SAP workloads and IoT developer specialty certifications. But again, just to get started, I wanted to give you a quick video showing you the tool where you can see and uh, architect your career within Microsoft. Cloud Security. Let me know in the comments what you would like and don't hit that end button just yet on this video because I'm going to tell you what's next on my channel to watch so stay tuned to the end. Hey thanks for watching the video. So what you should do now is go watch some of my the AZ900, the MS900, MS100, the AZ500 certification videos and get started on your journey and also if you have some time, make sure to check out the exclusive interviews I do with the tech juggernauts I have, whether that be the Women in Tech series or my Technology Titan series. And I'm going to be coming with these great interviews um, time after the time. I'm actually recording Women in Technology Season 2 now, so you don't want to miss it. And the only way you do that is making sure to subscribe, clicking the bell to stay notified. And if this video compelled you, make sure to share it with your friends on any social media platform. But again, thank you for your time and keep watching the videos on my channel.